What's up tribe? Yesterday I talked to you a little bit about the importance of posture and today I'm going to share with you a couple breathing movements that will help you connect with your posture and open up and activate key areas of your body. I'm going to show you four simple breathing movements for opening up the hips, shoulders, and spine. The first one we already covered in the original breathing video, which I recommend going back and looking at because proper breathing patterns is what's going to help you connect better to your posture and make these movements effective. So the first one is pelvic rocks. So Billy's going to inhale and as he inhales, he tilts his pelvis forward, exhales, rock back. And this should be done with little to no effort as with all the other movements that I'm going to show you. You want to pay attention to your alignment, heels, knees, hips. So bring your knees closer together. And then continue rocking. You can do this for one to two minutes or you can count reps if you would like to, like 10 to 15, even 20 reps. This is a great one if you have low back pain or if you feel that you're stiff through the spine because as you can see it creates waves all the way up through the neck. The next movement is a somatic movement connecting to your back line. So Billy's going to lay on the ground with his arm to the side and his elbow out with his chin resting on, or with his cheek resting on top of the back of his hand. Continuing to pay attention to nice deep breathing. On each exhale, he's going to do a different movement. So we'll first lift the elbow off the ground. Doing our best to keep the rest of the body relaxed. Then he's going to lift his, ch his chin up and look toward his feet. Good. You want to do each of these movements about three to five times. The next one is, is connecting both of those movements, doing them both at the same time. So lifting the elbow and the hand off, keeping it connected to the cheek and looking toward your feet. And here, doing your best to keep the legs relaxed and keeping the opposite shoulder relaxed. From here, he's going to begin moving the opposite leg. Lifting through the hip, lift the leg off the ground. There you go. Again, do this three to five times. And then lastly, we're going to connect all of those movements. So connecting the whole back line. Inhaling and completely relaxing. And then exhaling and moving. And you want to do this on both sides of the body. This one is a Feldenkrais shoulder spine integrator. And you want to use, you can use a rolled up yoga mat or use, this is a three or four inch foam roller and it's, it's not a very dense one, it's one of the softer ones. So to begin the movement, you want to again pay attention to your alignment. So I'm going to have you put, move your heels out just a little bit. Have your knees and hips and ankles stacked and then everything at 90 degree angles. You can relax your feet though. And then you're going to place your hand on your head like like you're looking out. Inhale and turn and look away. This is a great one for opening up the chest and for getting the shoulder blade moving. So he's inhaling, looking that direction, and then as he comes back, he exhales. You can do this one for time, or you can do up this as many times as you want, but the longer the better on this one. As many of us are stuck uh, in like that texting and computer posture. The last movement works on rotation through the hips and shoulder as well as the spine. So to begin the movement, you're going to cross one leg over the other, and you're going to rotate toward the up leg. So you'll inhale, exhale, rotate. And just allow your body to move with its natural range of motion. As you do this more, you'll notice that you'll get closer and closer to the ground. Then you're going to add a shoulder sweep. 
So he'll simultaneously sweep the shoulder and rotate through the hips. After that begins to feel a little bit more comfortable, Billy will add a rotation through the neck, turning and looking toward the arm. So he's rotating through the hips, through the spine, and through the shoulder. And you'll want to do this on both sides. Again, you can do it for time, or you can do three to five on each with each movement. You can do as many as you'd like. All these breathing movements are really great for connecting to the posture and also for just mobilizing your spine and connecting to your breath. These are all great movements to do as a warm up before you exercise, as a cool down after you're done exercising, or just in the middle of the day if you want to reduce stress or increase energy. I encourage you to give these a try and see how they work for you. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you'd like to receive these videos directly to your inbox, go to our website, connectconditioncreate.com, and you can subscribe to our new newsletter there, and you will find this in your inbox tomorrow. We'll see you then.